Okay, guys, welcome to our Thursday night leadership training call. Uh, I'm Michael Huey. My wife is, is in the other room on the phone with her sister. Uh, I usually have her come on and say hi, but she's just been a little bit busy. They're setting up a 70th birthday party for her mom. All right, here she comes. She's, she's coming. So, say real quick. All right, say hi just real quick. You guys can say hi. Hi, everybody. Okay, so <laughs> so I put this 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 quote on here. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year, but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. I love Eric Thomas. Uh, if you guys don't listen to him, if you need somebody to motivate you during the day, just click Eric Thomas on. He's phenomenal. Lisa and I listen to him all the time. He's a comes from a pastor's family and he's just he just changes people's lives. He's he, he's like, I don't, he says, I'll sleep when I'm in heaven. And he just wants to change people's lives. And so I'm, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to introduce, uh, I'm, I'm kind of very uh, tech savvy and I like to put things together and I kind of put this together really quickly. So uh, if, if it, if it, hopefully it holds up to Nancy's standards, but uh, I put this picture on here and, and I laughed at Jim today because I told him that I was going to have you on tonight. And I told him that I was going to use a picture of him with his eyes closed. So <laughs> uh, Jim and Marsha Korn are two of my two of my dearest friends uh, in life. Fanny's uh, Marsha came and stayed with Lisa and I a couple years ago for Thanksgiving. And Babs, I've I've been to Babs's house before in, in Kentucky and stayed at her house and did meetings. And I just love them. And and I remember a couple years ago when I met Nancy. And and so I'm just glad that we finally got to connect. And and finally, I, I've just so many of my 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 distributors and so many people in my organization have said, hey, do you know Nancy that well? And I said, a little bit, but I'm going to get to know her a lot better. And so I, I, I was talk. I had Dr. Lupsha on my call a couple weeks ago, and he was talking about you, and several of my distributors were, and Babs and I, it, it, and I thought, I just got to have Nancy on, on, on the call. And so, guys, my special guest, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let her tell her story, but this is just a couple things. I was completely blown away by some of the things that she told me when – she when she came on and when 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 I was looking at at her uh, her bio she she sent me today pharmacist biochemist a diabetic educator um, I I'm I'm excited to get to know her Michigan State grad so I'm just letting her know that I'm going to be cheering for her this weekend when they beat Michigan <laughs> on Saturday uh, we have a, a foe in common <laughs> oh okay good so um, and she's from Scottsdale Arizona um, I just love Arizona I'm I. Uh, we had our convention there a couple years ago, and uh, and and I just love Arizona. Period, and it's one of my favorite states. So, Nancy, I'm going to let you take take over and just tell me your story. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I I know that you're a grandmother too. I saw some pictures of your grandbaby there, and so just go ahead. Welcome to uh, our call. Have 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 at it. Oh well, thank you so much. As I said before, I'm really honored to be asked because. I really take uh, what happens in the life damage family really seriously. And it doesn't matter what group you're in. It doesn't matter um, what people's backgrounds are. The main reason that I became involved in this company uh, was initially because of a really good result that I had for myself. But it was really truly in seeing what it could do for other people. And with the background that I have, I've dealt with a lot of people with a lot of health issues for a long time. And currently, I'm actually doing a lot with animals, zoo animals all over the world and veterinarians every day. Um, and so I've really... Um, touch the whole gamut of mammals. <laughs> and um, the thing that I've learned about the Life Vantage family is that everyone has been just so wonderful about supporting each other. And that's such a huge thing for me because there's so many companies out there that may have some good products. Um, they don't have the science behind it. But when it comes down to the people, um, you really see a difference in this company. And um, so that for me was kind of an initial draw. I was introduced, um, first of all, to the product. I, on one day, um, an hour or two apart, I had my daughter who's a veterinarian call me 
and a friend from California called me. My daughter called me in regard to the pet health product. She didn't know what it was and it had some very significant impact on one of her patients and she had questions for me so she asked me to look into it. At the same time I got a call from a friend in California and he had some questions about what he had been um, hearing about it in regard to skin cancer. He knew that it was a problem for him and it was a problem for me and he wanted to know what my thought process was on it. Well, it didn't take very long in my researching to figure out that both people were talking to me about the same company. And I thought that in itself was kind of uh, just magical in a sense. It's like, wow, I think I'm supposed to really look. And as, as a result of that, um, when I started looking, my whole intent was to find something because I had been through breast cancer. And as a result of that, I also had a melanoma. And I was really tired of getting things cut and burned off me here in Phoenix every three months. So I looked into the science and I was shocked because honestly, when he sent me the information, I thought, okay, here we go. It's going to be another one that there's just some random science about some random ingredients. And um, a lot of my background is formulating. So I know a lot about um, getting products and raw materials and looking at them and reviewing them and also looking at the studies that are presented to peers in regard to those um, different ingredients and as a pharmacist also looking at pharmaceutical studies. And so when I saw that it was a pharmaceutical type science behind this, I was amazed. I, I have to tell you, I, I absolutely couldn't believe that LSU study was demonstrating using ProTandem by name. And that in itself was amazing, but then to see the results, and I got really excited about it. And I thought, you know what, I, I've got to try this. I'll, I'll do anything to stop this cutting and burning thing going on. And so when I got started on it, um, I did uh, have a couple of things that happened right away. I slept better, I was feeling better. Um, and mm -hmm. something else happened. I had no intent of doing this as a business. I had no intent of looking at it as a business. Um, but I had a friend who uh, has a daughter with autism. And I, for some reason, her name kept coming up in my head. And as I thought about her, and I was thinking about this product, for some reason, it just kept gnawing at me. And I called her. I hadn't talked to her in about eight months. And when I did, she shared with me that she was in a crisis. A severe crisis. Her daughter was 20 years old. She had helped take care of her to keep her home, which had been challenging for their whole family um, for many years. And we had worked together on many things to try to help her. And at the moment, she was hurting herself terribly. She had a helmet um, on and a straight jacket because she was hurting herself so severely. They were going to take her and have to put her into a facility. Um, and again, I have no idea why I called her. I hadn't talked to her in a while. And she just said, just please come over. I have no idea why. I brought the bottle of ProTandem with me and we sat and we researched and looked at everything. And I said, I have no idea if this is gonna help. There is no information in regard to autism or any of the things going on with Adrian. But I just feel that I know it won't hurt you. That's one thing I did know. I knew the ingredients. I knew the subtherapeutic dosing in them was not really gonna hurt. Um, her in regard to the medication she was on. And so what ended up happening is within a few days, she had such amazing recovery that the helmet and the straight jacket came off. And very quickly, Arlene and I took a look at each other and said, this is just unbelievable. And that's when I started um, really taking a look seriously at the product from a science perspective and from a sharing perspective. Because through that time period, it's now um, getting close to two years. And just to give you a little bit of an idea, Adrienne went, um, it, we found out it was her medication that was creating this pain in her stomach was so severe. And it was a drug that I knew was going to take her six to eight weeks to get off. And with the help of ProTandem, I was able to get her off that medication in about two and a half to three weeks. And um, it was amazing to be able to do that, first of all. Second of all, if you could see pictures of Adrienne, what she looked like in four months' time, the transition was amazing. And watching their family be able to have peace of mind and to see Adrienne now, today, two years later, off all medications, really improved in her life.
it was that week that I made a decision that I really needed to look seriously at this as a business because this was something that had the power to change a lot of lives. And for me, that was just so impactful. Um, I continued to take a look at all the different studies. And sure enough, three months later, it was time for me to go in and get my skin tests done. And um, I'll tell you, it's been two years now that I've been on the product and I have not had one thing cut or burned off me since. And when you have that done oh, every three months for five years and then have nothing, it's pretty astounding. And so I can't say, we can't say it treats, mitigates, or cures any type of disease state, but I can tell you that when you hear about what NERF 2 is and what activation of that is in your body, um, you begin to understand the power of what this product can do. And as a whole, be able to research it at it. Hey Nancy, I'm, I'm you breaking up just a little bit. Can are you still there? Yeah. You just kind of break are breaking up just a little bit. Just hold on one second. I must have lost you. Did I lose you? Are you back? Yes. I don't know what happened. I could see yeah. that, that it was going down. Can you no, no, no. That's 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 okay. So, well, well, let me ask you just one more question, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I I didn't know all that stuff. I'm just I'm I'm an emotional guy, and I'm just like, wow. I hope everybody is getting as much out of this as I am. I'm just like, I'm like, where's my notepad? I got it. You know, tell me now what excites you about now Nerve One some of the other products being a product formulator. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but me and my chiropractor, one of my chiropractors used to want to create his own supplements. He decided not to do that. He's kind of like Brett Bremhall who gave up, you know, working with his dad and creating this. Tell me what excites you about what we have now and, and the future of, of Life Vantage. Well, it's, it's the continued improvement of the company. I get more excited every day, to be honest. Um, when I take a look at the Nerf One activity, we, we now have the one-two punch. And I think that the biggest thing, when you understand how the body operates, the, the Nerf Two pathway is that signal, the thermostat in our body, that turns our genes back on to take the trash out, to make our body operate as well as it can. But we have to have the energy level from the mitochondria, that's what drives the energy. And to have that secondary step now where we have the Nerf One activator that goes in, it not only repairs the mitochondria, it literally grows them. It makes them get bigger. And I've known for, for a long time, because of my biochemistry background and genetics background, a lot of the energy that goes on in cells is what also has a disturbance on our genes. If you don't have enough energy in a cell, you're not going to get the complete use of that cell. And so everything from neurotransmitters in your brain to how your heart operates depend on that mitochondria working and functioning at its peak. And as we age and as we have different disease states happen, that mitochondria takes on a huge amount of damage. And so now we have a means of helping that, something that's you know, proven to be able to work and to help those mitochondria be healthier. And then we have the protandum, because when you do build mitochondria and you do utilize that energy, be it from your foods, whatever source, you do still create some oxidative stress. And so the importance is that they're used together. And together, that optimally balances your body. All I know is when I started chemistry, when I fell in love with chemistry in seventh grade, when no one else wanted to hear about it, all I knew is they talked about balancing equations. That's all I ever heard about. We had to balance the equations. All the numbers had to add up. All, the, all those chemicals had to add up. And that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about balancing the equations in the body. And when you balance the equations in the body, the NERF-1 and the NERF-2 pathways are how we can do that and have optimally the best health we can. And so for me, 
as the science has progressed and we see more and more studies, I mean, really studies with mice showing that it's increasing that's anti-aging proof. I think I lost you again, Nance. I hope not. Sorry. Oh, no, yeah. It's okay. yeah, it's okay. I, I don't know sure what's happened. It might just be, are you still there? I am. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you better now. It's okay. It just breaks up a little bit. I, I just think it's because we're both excited. We both, it just kind of, <laughs> whenever you talk a little fast, it just kind of does that. So, that's no, right. it's, that's it's awesome. The electronics of it all. Yeah, it, it you know, um, uh, just another minute, one, one more question. Um, talk about the future of LifeVantage setting this standard and this term called nutrigenomics and where it's going and your thought process of the future of what nutrigenomics is going to do in the health and wellness and even in the medical community. I think I lost you again. Technology is not doing me well today. Are you still there, Nance? I'm, I think, yeah, I don't know what it's doing. It's I've never had this problem before. I think it's because we have so many people on. We've been having so many numbers. So I think it, let me just, let me, yeah, let me just, um, yeah, let me mute mine and see if that helps with yours. All right. Okay. What I was going to say is it is already driving the research, certainly not only in nutrients, but also in chemistry and all the pharmaceutical areas. It's the top research area. It doesn't matter what disease state you're looking at because we're talking about optimally the aging and disease states based on gene expression. And this is the first product proven. I mean, we reduce that oxidative stress by 40% on average in 30 days. We've proved it. No one else has that. And that's exciting to me because we are just gonna move leaps and bounds forward in terms of what things we're gonna be able to see in studies, be it an athlete, be it a disease state, um, and just optimum health. For me personally, I think that it's a matter of, for a long time I owned a long-term care consulting business, and I saw lots of people that had lived long lives, but they weren't healthy. And I think most people will agree, it doesn't matter how long you live if the quality of your life isn't there. And that for me is the highest potential, is that we're seeing people optimally live and be able to feel so much better. And I, I could spend hours telling you the improvements I've had. Well, yeah. that, that, that's, that's super exciting. I, I like one of the um, articles from the Huffington's Post when it talked about you know, the study on extending life and it said that not only extending life, but giving better quality of life. So like you said, not having to just be, you live longer, but actually live disease free and, 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 and medication free. And, and I'm like you, I've, I've got my father off many medications. And, and, and so I, I'm, I'm so grateful that, you know, um, I, I, I'll just, I'll just leave with this. I think people in our industry sometimes can be the most prideful people because if they're, if, if they're not hearing about it, if people aren't hearing about it from them, then it can't be true. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that people like you and professional people like you already my and Nance, I'll share this with you back when I first got involved, my professors said that it would take seven to 10 years for people to understand this technology and this process. And then we had to go and throw nerve one in there to give it just another, you know, thing. But, but we're at, uh, that was five years ago. So I, I think we're another three to five years of education and to have people like you involved in this um, at this time, uh, I'm excited to get to know you better. I'm excited to lock arms with you. Uh, I'm grateful that you were, you, that you came on tonight. And so thank you so much for, uh, being a part uh, of the of this this call tonight, and uh, I look forward to uh, getting to know you better and spending some more time with you. Thanks again for for being on tonight. Absolutely, thank you. I I like I said before, it's a privilege for me to be able to reach out to others, and I hope that um, if they have questions, especially in regard to autism, uh, we are going to be getting more and more information out there because we now have some family stories that you you can't believe. We had one of our young men that was on medications 
He is now off all of his medications. And two weeks ago, he won a silver medal in swimming at our state level for Special Olympics. Wow. This is a child that wow. could not function. I, I, the family was all crying and calling me on the phone. And those are things that you don't forget. Those are things that you, you're realizing what an impact you're having on a, an entire family, not just that young man. So those are why it's so important for us to share. When people cut us down and they don't listen, just try to remember, what if I didn't share with our Arlene? What if I didn't share with Denise? Those are so important points, okay? God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to be in touch with you very soon. So thanks again for being on. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish up with, a, with my 10-minute session part on – uh, leadership development. I read this amazing article and I'm going to go over it just in 10 minutes um, with you guys so you guys can hear it. Guys, this, was, this is an awesome article. I, I, I did a, a Facebook Live and, and I must have had close to 100 people say, you need to do, uh, you know, teach this on your leadership call. So I'm going to teach it tonight and it's the obstacles of your, of your path to growth. And excuse me, you guys know that I'm a big John Maxwell fan. John says, to make it up the growth slope we need to figure out the best route and make steady progress on the way up that often means removing obstacles that are in our way today i want to talk to you about he talks we're going to talk about three obstacles that you might find on the path to your potential leaving them there will slow or even stop your growth progress removing them can free you to turn toward your goals your growth goals what kind of an obstacle are these? They, they have to do with what you believe. I want you to think about this. While it's true, I'm making sure I'm still on, okay. While it's true that belief alone rarely gets you where you're, you want to go, belief usually determines whether you even try to get there. And again and again, I've seen the following three negative beliefs John's gonna talk about and I'm gonna share with you here stop smart people in their tracks and limits their growth. As you read through these, as I share these with you, ask yourself this. If you hold any of these beliefs, if you do, you're being eliminated. You're being limited by them. When you replace them with positive beliefs and assumptions, you will remove limitations and free yourself to grow. The first one is scarcity, okay? Scarcity uh, how, how do you view options, resources, opportunity? A person with a scarcity mindset believes that those things are limited. Think about what we have with life advantage, opportunity. A lot of people are, are afraid of opportunity. That we're all competing for finite number of resources or options. As, as my friend, and this is, this, this is one of John, John's colleagues, Kevin Myers put it, they see the world as a pie with only a certain number of slices, and everybody is competing to get some. For some people, this belief motivates them to be their best in order to grab their fair share of the pie. But for many, a belief in scarcity dominates them because they believe the odds of winning one of the only few slices simply aren't in their favor. Insecurity. Confidence is silent, insecurities are loud. If scarcity says the world doesn't have enough, insecurity says I'm not enough. Insecurity is minimizing of oneself. It's seeing your abilities, talents, and strengths as deficient in some way. When you believe you're not good or talented enough, that's an obstacle to growth. After all, why pursue any goal if you don't think you're capable of reaching it? Insecure people may recognize chances to advance and grow, but they don't believe in their ability to seize those opportunities. Guys, think about that. Are, are, are you insecure? Are you allowing this spirit of insecurity to hold you back? Look at what it says. Insecure people may recognize chances of advance and growth, but they do not believe their ability to seize those opportunities. And then powerlessness. A belief in powerlessness 
comes out of the assumption that we have no ability to affect our world. Powerlessness often begins with a wound, perhaps from someone in authority ignoring or dismissing your voice, but it hardens over time into a mentality that cannot recognize personal responsibility for anything that happens in life. For, pow for a powerless person, there's always someone else who should have acted, someone who should have take, taken the blame. This passive way of seeing the world can lead to a victim mentality. Poor me. If someone else is always in control, then the victim is always at the mercy of those in charge. People who feel powerless are, are less likely to pursue growth because they believe their growth ultimately won't matter that their skills will never be recognized by the people who hold all the power. I like this quote that I put up here. Pain equals powerlessness, shame. What makes you feel powerful even through the pain? And then this is what John talks about by when he talks about removing these obstacles. The good news is you don't have to live with negative beliefs. In fact, just by recognizing them, within yourself, you are in position to take the first step of growth. And that is to choose to believe differently, different mindset. This is something you can right now today, your beliefs are your choice. So consider these strategies. If you struggle with a belief of scarcity, choose instead to practice abundance thinking. I call it favor thinking. Instead of seeing only limited options or resources, choose to believe that they are abundant. In other words, if you see others grabbing all the pieces of the pie, you don't need to panic. Just bake another pie. Believers in abundance choose to focus on possibility, and this enables them to pursue them. If you struggle with insecurity, Practice, practice confident thinking. Choose to believe that you do have something to offer. Every life is unique. You are the only person on earth who brings your skills, talents, and experiences to the table. That's worth something. Believe in your abilities. Believe in your abilities empowers you to use them to succeed and to grow. R let me repeat that. Believing in your abilities empowers you to use them to succeed and grow. If you struggle with a feeling of powerlessness, embrace responsibility. That means owning what you can do and releasing what you can't. No one can control everything, but with things you can control, take full responsibility. Or to paraphrase, I like he uses Teddy Roosevelt, do the best you can with what you have where you are. And then he, John finished with this quote from Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Very little is needed to make a life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. The difference between the life you have and the life you want is often just a matter of how you think and what you believe. If you confront the change, if you confront and change your beliefs, you'll clear the way on your uphill journey to growth. Guys, I hope that encouraged you guys. It really encouraged me, even just going through it again. Uh, before I end this, we're we're right at we got about one minute left. I just want to let you guys know, in thirty minutes. And if, if you need to text your team, text everybody on your team this information. Um, it's on Facebook. I put it on my Facebook page on several different teams. Our, my mentor and a lot of your mentors, uh, Brandon Cunningham, is going to be doing a special webinar just like this at 10 o'clock. Uh, and the link is on here. You can, you can click on the, the Zoom link. The number is there. It's very, very important that you guys get on this call. Uh, he's going to teach us a lot of new stuff that we've learned the last couple of days. 
um, on our on our our elite distributor training calls. We've had three of them this week, which has been absolutely amazing. You guys are going to be completely blown away by what he's going to share, guys. This information excited me. I last night and the night before, I couldn't sleep. So I hope you guys will join us um, on the webinar tonight and in about a half an hour. If you need the link and you don't have it, text me, and uh, I will I will send it over to you guys. So um, thank you so much for being on the call tonight, guys. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I'm excited to lock arms with you guys. And, 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 and Nancy, thank you again for being on. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing night, and I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes on Brandon's call.